If the successive ticks marks shown on the number line are equally spaced and if x and y are numbers designating the endpoints of the intervals as shown, what is the value of y? So we notice that y is 7 ticks from the origin. So whatever the length of a tick is, if we just multiplied by 7, we'd have the value of y. Statement number 1 tells us that x equals 1 half. Well, that's interesting because x is 3 ticks. And so we could, we know that 1 half equals 3 ticks. We could figure out the value of a single tick, which would allow us to figure out the value of y. So this statement is perfectly sufficient. Now forget about statement number 1. Focus only on statement number 2. Statement number 2 tells us that y minus x is 2 thirds. So this distance right here, the distance between y and x, is 2 thirds. Well, of course, that's 4 ticks. So if 2 thirds is 4 ticks, again, we could figure out from that the length of a tick, and we could figure out the size of y. So this statement is also 100% sufficient. Both statements sufficient. Answer choice D.